Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 7 Parts C, D, F, and I In Part C, we have F minus G of X. This means F of X minus G of X. F of X is this expression here. Then we have a minus sign. G of X is this expression here. Now, because g of x has more than one term, and it's being subtracted from something else, we must wrap g of x in parentheses. We distribute the minus sign, multiplying by negative 1. Negative 1 times positive 2x is negative 2x. We write minus 2x. Negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5. We write minus 5. Now we gather like terms. We have 2x squared, the 11x and the minus 2x become plus 9x, positive 15 minus 5 is plus 10. Part D, f times g of x. This means f of x times g of x. f of x is 2x squared plus 11x plus 15 since it's being multiplied with something else, and because it has more than one term, we will wrap it in parentheses. Here's the multiplication sign. 2x plus 5, being multiplied and having more than one term, requires us to wrap it in parentheses. There are a number of ways to do this multiplication. Let me show you the box method. Across the top, I will put 2x squared, positive 11x, and 15. Going down, I will put 2x and positive 5. To fill in this box, we multiply 2x squared times 2x. That's 4x to the third power. To fill in this box, we multiply 2x times 11x. That's 22x squared. To fill in this far right box on the top, 2x times 15 is 30x. To fill in this box, 2x squared times 5, that's 10x squared. To fill in this box, 5 times 11x is 55x. This box over here, 5 times 15, is 75. Now we gather like terms. We have 4x to the third. These are both positive and like terms. Adding, we get 32x squared, so we write plus 32x squared. Plus 85x, plus 75. In part f, we have f plus h of negative 3. This means f of negative 3 plus h of negative 3. To compute f of negative 3, we're going to take negative 3 and put it into the f equation wherever we see an x. So we have 2 times the quantity, negative 3 squared, plus 11 times negative 3 plus 15. That will give us f of negative 3. Then we have this plus sign. Now we're going to work out h of negative 3. So we take negative 3 and put it into the h formula, wherever we see an x, which is right here. So we have 12 divided by negative 3 is the inserted value for x, minus 3. Let's work this out. Order of operations, negative 3 squared is 9, so we have 2 times 9, plus 11 times negative 3, plus 15, plus 12 divided by negative 6, 18, plus negative 33, plus 15, plus negative 2. 18 and 15 is 33, plus a negative 33, plus this negative 2, we have 0 plus negative 2, our answer is negative 2. In part i, we have f divided by g of 0. This means f of 0 divided by g of 0. f of 0, we take the value 0, put it in for x, and the f formula. g of 0, we take 0, put it into the formula for g, where we see an x, in the numerator we have 0 plus 0 plus 15, and the denominator 0 plus 5. 15 divided by 5 
equals 3, our answer.